Tipco believes that master data should be under the control of the business and that the MDM solution should be very agile in order to facilitate change as your business evolves and grows. It must also provide authoring, management, processing, and governance in a single solution that is not constrained to a specific domain of data or a specific style of MDM implementation. TIBCO with EBX has turned this belief into value and delivered it to banking industry, retail customers, corporate customers, product-centric customers, just about every industry vertical that exists. Fundamental to any master data implementation is the idea of locations, reference data, and metadata, all fully supported by TIPCO EBX. A little bit more detail, thinking around the metadata would be data governance and something as specific as a GDPR implementation. Other domains, not necessarily centered on corporate America, but in the enterprise are human resources, business units, organizations, employees, people, again, all of which supported equally inside of EBX. Today, we're gonna to be looking into movies and entertainment. I would like to introduce you to Kathy Miller. Kathy Miller is the business unit user who is responsible for our title master. In EBX, she can manage her work queue, seeing what processes of collaboration she is involved in, and where exactly in that process is the current task that's under her responsibility reside. She can also use EBX to drill down into the health and quality of her title master data. She can go even deeper by profiling the data elements or the attributes in that entity. Here, she gets a classification at the instance level and the values of that data further divided. And if she wants to specifically look into a situation that could potentially improve the business or at the very least the quality of data, she can drill down into the specific instance of the profile and ultimately down to the exact information that shows the TV grade uh, with the amount of sampling information, the empty fields, and that is particular to IMDB. She can render her titles hierarchically. For example, here are her titles by franchise, and you'll notice that franchise ends up as reference data Franchise would be very specific to movies and entertainment, but a rating, for example, wouldn't be as specific to the project as it is to the entire industry. If Kathy wishes to design a hierarchy and say a hierarchy by the rating, it's very simple. She can create a new view title by rating, request a hierarchical view, and then EBX gives her an opportunity to walk any dimension that comes off of that entity. Here, rating is important, create and apply, and now she has a hierarchy representing all of her titles by rating. If she further wants to facet or turn that view into a query, 
also very easy to do. We don't want to create a new one. We want to edit the existing one. And here we can add criteria, specifically what she wants to query, PG-13. And this is master data, so she wants to further limit this just to see golden records. Now we save and quit. You can see the hierarchy is trimmed, and now we only see titles of that rating that are golden. No matter how you render in EBX, you're always at the instance of the single source of the truth or the golden record. The use case is we're consolidating IDER records. YouTube records and IMDB records to come up with our title master. So you can see EBX treats first class master data, metadata, and non-structured data equally, all of which come together to form the mastery. For a, an unstructured approach, Kathy can traverse based on any of the relationships at the instance level of that data. Here there are 42. That gets a little busy, so let's pare it down. Uh, let's just select by talent. We'll apply that query and expand those nodes. So what this shows us is all of the talent relationships that exist, and you can further drill down to get to the instance of a particular actor and our writer, cast, our crew. If you do wish to see the entire balance of the information, you can indeed do that, select all in view, expand all the nodes, and uh, traverse to your delight. If you prefer a more structured approach, there's always walking the relationship directly and forever provided by EBX. Again, hierarchically, visually, or in a structured representation, you're always at the master record. You'll notice that in this context, Kathy Miller has no ability to edit information, but since she is responsible for our title master, she needs to be able to add, update, and create. So if we want to get to a situation where we're going to enrich, how does she get permission to write? So you can see here in this instance of a title, it is missing a media type or a particular image. So here is a candidate for enrichment. Under these circumstances and from this record, Kathy Miller requests the ability to update and what EBX does is create a level of isolation into which she can write. And now she can make changes as she desires. If we bounce back to the workflow, you see that she does have a new task on her queue. Classification of this is a classic maker checker pattern. And we are at the task waiting for an update of that record. It shows up as open because she had already been in here. So let's go ahead and enrich this. So let's go to our library of information. Let's select one. 
we get it into our main master record as metadata. We save that record and now we can submit it for approval. The comments can be made mandatory. Uh, it's a primary way to track communications inside the thread of a process. You can see that now that's off of her queue. I mentioned it was a maker checker pattern. So I'm going to log in now as Peter Martins, who's our data steward, who should have a task to approve that update. You'll notice in his queue, it's a take and start. In EBX, the queues are overridden. Uh, so it's both role and individual. A take and start means any data steward can take it. And an open means that uh, Peter Martins has already taken this task. So let's take and start this task and EBX will center you on the exact information. You can see in this context that Peter Martins also has the ability to edit if he needed to make any fine tuning uh, before he approves it. Let's go ahead and approve this. And you'll see that the queue decrements. Peter Martins no longer has a task. Kathy Miller's task is unabated. And if we go into the title master, or we can navigate to it through that hierarchical representation. You can see now that image has been made as part of the permanent record. Another form of governance is the historical perspective. And from that instance level, if you have permission, you can look into the history of that particular entity. Here, you see user Catherine Miller, right, had made the change and particularly added that attachment. So not only do you have the thread of control of the historical process, but you also have the ability to trace back to the exact point in time and who made the particular change. If MDM is on your roadmap and you need to be in production yesterday, you need to explore the capabilities of TIBCO EBX, an all-in-one multi-domain data management solution. Thank you for your attention.